days after Indigenous Australian elders reiterated their condemnation of the federal government's intervention in remote Aboriginal communities in the Northern Territory, many gathered in Redfern Park to mark the 20th anniversary of the Redfern speech by the then Prime Minister, Paul Keating. Just a mile or two from this place, where the first European settlers landed, in too many ways it tells us that the failure to bring much more than devastation and demoralisation to Aboriginal Australia continues to be our failure. More, I think, than most Australians recognise. The plight of Aboriginal Australians affects us all. The speech is considered one of the most important speeches in Australian history, as Mr Keating became the first Prime Minister to recognise the damage that colonisation dealt towards the Indigenous population. But when I heard that speech, I thought, it's going to give Aboriginal people a bit of confidence to get up and to do things themselves as well, you know, and do something about it. Be a bit bold. Many speakers say there's been progress in areas like health and reconciliation, but there are still many obstacles. I think the greatest challenge facing Indigenous Australians is um, non-Aboriginal people who uh, refuse to get educated about real Aboriginal Australians and their willful blindness in not seeing the discrimination and inequality that exists in Australia. One of the many problems facing Indigenous Australians is a worrying 50% increase in the number of women going to prison over the past decade, with men experiencing a 30% increase. Despite making up just 2.5% of the national population, over 26% of Australia's prison population are Aboriginal. Green Senator Lee Rhiannon voiced her disgust that the Australian Labor Party continued the intervention after defeating the previous John Howard government. They went along with the army going in to the Northern Territory, to all aspects of that intervention. And when they came into government, not only didn't they wind back that intervention, what they've allowed to happen and that their policies have enacted is entrenching it even further. But endeavours like the government-owned National Indigenous Television has given a voice to Indigenous Australians, and the TV series Red Phone Now has gained critical success, suggesting that the Australian public is becoming more aware of the plight that affects the oldest continuous civilization in the world. Daniel Pizarro, Press TV, Sydney.